Yeah. What, these bags? No, them two slabs behind here. Yeah. No, they're not. Well, I moved them to there. I know they're not. That's why I said they're not. I moved them to there. Nearly broke my back. Because you're a wuss, man. I'm not sure if I'm with him or if this is. There you go. That was the answer. What do I need to Them slabs, yeah. These light slabs. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Crafty Coy. I have had a chop, as you can see, looking a lot more presentable, I suppose the words are. Anyway, what we're going to be doing today, like I touched on the last episode, is um, something I didn't expect I'd be doing, if I'm honest. Um, but I suppose saving grace for not getting the concrete base done yet is that uh, we've had a bit of time to have a look at what we can and can't do again and reevaluate. So what we're gonna be doing today is more digging. <laughs> the missus isn't too happy um, because we've just started to get some sort of normality back into the garden, but no, ponds take over everything. But that said, once it's done, it's done and it'll look spiffing. So, um, what I'm going to ask now is I'm going to try and get my subscriber count up now. Uh, the little break um, that we had over the Christmas period when I got unwell uh, slowed me down a little bit. I want to try and raise up my subscriber base again. Um, so I've got a target. I'm not going to tell you what the target is. Um, but I'm hoping that if you are watching this, um, and I am getting quite a lot of views, so if you are watching it, Hit that subscribe button for us now. It'd be much appreciated. So anyway, let me show you what we're doing. So then, a um, bit of a, a bomb site in there. Um, so what we're doing is, um, I've got a line out. Hard to see, I think, from there, but I think you'll just about notice it here. Okay, so that line's out. Um, we're going to be digging back. To there okay so when you actually look at the scheme of things it's quite a lot of ground uh, in reality and then at this end where the shuttering was originally we're going to come back to the edge of that brickwork so the the build itself will be flush up against the end of the patio so uh, one little setback is that the drains already set so it's good it's going to be slightly off center but you know I ain't too fussed about that to be honest because it still do the job um, hopefully if not then we'll have to combat it in another way I'll tell ya I didn't get as much done as I wanted to yesterday one it was baking number two it was father's day so if you're a dad I hope you had a, a nice father's day um, and if you're not I hope that you will manage to wish your father a happy Father's Day. Right, so, we've had a bit of a tidy up. Let me just spin you around and then I'll show you what's going on with the pond. Right, so, all the black bags are from what I'm starting to dig out. Um, some of this stuff's now starting to retract back, which I'm really super happy about. And we've got a big bald patch where some of the sandstone was. Um, <laughs> And then move the sandstone over here because I've got plans for this area just here. Um, and that's where it's going to end up. And then over here, um, you can see how the garden slopes off. So off of that, when 
I've emptied all this lot. So what we're going to do, or what I'll be doing, is getting loads of um, loads of earth, and I'll be doing as much as I can to get some sort of level on that, and then returfing. So anyway, all of these black bags, um, because I've got nowhere to dump, I thought I'll bag them up as I go along. Good idea. But now look, all right. So you'll see that just this small amount here, I've still got a few more dumpy bags there, uh, gravel bags there. And then down here, right, loads more earth. Now the camera does not do it justice, but I can assure you, okay, if you used to look just up there, that is gonna be the height of the pond. So, when we set up there, it's not going to be as high. It's obviously going to have a bit bigger. It's going to be a bit higher this side. And then as it goes down there, it gets taller still. So I've got some plunge to steer. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are at the moment. Now, the only issue I've got here, because I've decided to widen the pond by a foot or so, my drain's off centre. So I'm going to have to, you know, I'm not overly bothered. Um, just means I'm gonna to have to be a little bit more savvy or crafty about when we uh, concrete base it and how I have the slopes running off. So, because uh, one thing's for sure, I'm not digging that up and taking all of the concrete out that I've put in already just for an extra foot to bring it over. Unless you think I'm silly, put it into the comments, let me know. Um, and then I may have to reassess. Time's about half nine at night. Um, one thing I'm going to introduce you to is something that I wish I had before. Okay, this, this thing, okay, um, uh, excavator fence graph grade four heavy industrial use. Man, it smashes through anything that you you drive down on, as you would have just seen in the in the time lapse. I tell you, if I'd have had that before, I don't think I would have had much problems. So. Um, but you live and learn. Rob across the road again. Mr. Tool Hire, thanks very much. Um, he's a good lad. He's always got some at. Um, but he said, yeah, try this. Man, I wish I had something like that from the start rather than just a shovel and a spade. But is what it is anyway. Uh, light's against us. So I think I'm going to end it there uh, for today. Um, progress. We're getting there. Um, I feel very positive about that. So tomorrow... Um, after work because uh, we've got a nice weather forecast for the remainder of the month uh, sorry week um, I'll be out there bagging that lot up and potentially moving it down the bottom because what I'm going to be using that mud for um, is potentially saving myself however much a ton bag of earth is because I'll throw that down along with the sandstone etc I may have to get another half ton of uh, type 1 uh, to whack it down so anyway See ya tomorrow. Morning. So, finished work last night, knackered. Didn't do anything on the pond. Um, sun's out, just above the house. Oh, feeder's just going off. The cockerel's growing and it is a glorious morning, half past six currently. Just got a brew. So, um, because I didn't do anything yesterday, up nice and early this morning before I start my actual job, rather than my, whoop, it's not doing very well today, the old gimbal, um, before I start my actual job. So, what we're gonna do is finish this off. Uh, I'll spin you around because the sun's in a bad place. So I better come down. You can see, uh, got a load more earth to, to bag up. Cutting this up, it'll come all the way, all the way back down here. And I've cut all the way down there. So, uh, what the plan is to get this lot bagged up um, and then put some more hardcore down ready 
for the concrete line now. And so then. Carried on after work today. Got a little bit more done. Got quite a bit more done, to be honest. Just got a little bit more uh, dirt to, to shovel now. Uh, but I've run out of bags, so it's going to have to go in uh, dry loaded. Um, but that said, um, it's really made a difference to the size of the pond. So I'm going to spin you around. So then you'll see um, and had a leaker out. I've just emptied a load of water out of one of uh, my bowls that got full up and it sat in there. So, um, right then. So that's all out now. I've uh, put some tight one in the bottom of that. Uh, need some more in there. Still got to chisel off this bit here just to bring that up flush. With, so it's going to be flush up against there as much as I can get it. Uh, so I've got a little bit of concrete to drill out on that. Uh, this is all done. There's a little bit of concrete here that I didn't know nothing about uh, that I've got to drill out as well. Um, but you can see how that's going to make shape. So, um, so you'll notice then we've uh, had a bit of a tidy up. I say a tidy up, we've just moved stuff from one side of the garden to the other. But you'll see now, if I come down low here, you will see that the ground runs off. So you can see, if you look at uh, the end of the sleeper there, right, you'll see that it gets, the ground slowly uh, raises on the left hand side of the garden. So um, the earth that we've taken out of there is now over here, all right, in all of them bags. Uh, some of it's already dry, uh, loaded just there. Um, but that said, it doesn't really make much difference because the plan is to, that I've taken out, is to put it onto the garden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line off of the highest point of the garden over there um, and I'm going to level it up. It's not going to be flat level, it, it will have a slight incline um, or I'll, I'll level it as much as I can but um, we'll see how it goes but I think I'll probably need another three ton of soil to put over that and then we're going to re-turf it but that's not until that bit there's done. Over here we've got plans for when all this is then moved, we've then got plans for this part of the garden as well. So uh, that'll be up and coming in future episodes. But until then, um, still got this to do, but I'm sure you'll agree that um, for, for Surrey Koi, I think you'll see now um, how much I've actually have dug out this end. Um, and the fact that we haven't got that much soil down this end Right, shows the slope of the garden off. So I know you said, oh, it's only gone a foot in, but it hasn't, all right? So not that I need to justify it, but just to give you an idea. And then right up there, that little marker just there is gonna be the top end of the pond. So um, I think you'll agree, that's gonna be quite cool. So anyway, I'm gonna carry on shoveling some of this shit and I'll come back later. So then Thursday evening now, um, just finished work, it's about seven o'clock, um, just got in, just got the last little bit of um, earth to shovel out, uh, that wouldn't take too long, probably half an hour, um, and then it's, uh, look at the sky man, this camera picks up some white stuff, right, um, then it's on to the Kanga drill. What's really weird, a chunk of earth just fell off. I can't be, I'm not that fat, am I? But um, yeah, so that's what today's goal is, to get all that ready, uh, to go ready for Saturday because I'll be on borrowed time tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, but let's see how we get on. So I'll report back soon. <sighs> that's that done. Uh, digging pretty much is complete. Um, I think that's the last shovel full of earth. There may be a little bit more when we've done the um, 
uh, knock that little bit of concrete out. It's probably a little bit more to do, but nevertheless, look. If I, let me just spin you around. Check this. So that is literally from four borough falls. You know, right? Don't look like a lot on camera, but I can assure you, it's quite a lot. So, you know, garden is starting to come round. But now I've, uh, I've swept some of the, um, the type one that's sort of knocking round loose on top onto there. It's quite wet mud today. So the next step is uh, I need to get that curb stone out. Uh, I've got a chisel away at that. That's an old, um, from what I can tell, that's a concrete uh, footing for a, a fence post that's right. So God knows how long that's been in there. Next part is we're going to chisel this away. And then um, all we then need to do is tight one it. Tight one all of this, uh, level it off. And then, and then a uh, bit of a whacker. And then we'll get the shuttering in. So um, almost ready for Saturday. Um, bearing in mind it's Thursday today, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. Uh, if not, a bit later on, get as much done as I can tonight. Um, and then, you know, I am so glad that I've done that because that, that's a lot more satisfying than the hole that I had. So, you know, um, blessing in disguise was not to get the concrete base done. Um, and now I'm quite excited um, to be getting on with the build, which, you know, is... Well, look how shiny I am from sweating, man. It's like, it is so, so muggy. I do actually sweat a lot. Um, but that said, that said, um, anybody that is thinking of digging a pond, um, if you've got any ginger mates, um, ask them to come round. Because apparently, from what I've been told by a couple of builders, um, ginger people are really good at digging. Um, and when you and when you think back to your days of seeing people on the road digging the road, they generally are. So I just said I thought me me digging has finished. No, no. So let me spin you around. Right then. So just here, right that was the size of the footing that was used to support three bricks. I think it's as tall as three bricks. Look, six inches for three bricks. You could have built a house on that, but no, look, slight oversight on my behalf. Obviously, um, what I need to do is continue that on down this part here that I haven't put in, so you know, it then follows suit all the way around then. Um, so, back on that, back on that, to add to that. See you in a moment. Right, my gimbal is super low on battery, but um, sunlight's gone. So the video quality might be a little bit ropey, but not to worry. So, let me show you if we can see from here now, um, the pile, not my piles, but the pile of earth. Right, so that has got a lot bigger and there's a reason for that. And that is this lot's been taken out. So um, that is what I needed the breaker for. So as we go down, Give you some of this so uh where the fence post that was the fence post that was rotted to hell got a huge amount of uh concrete for what i can only imagine was a small fence post looking at the diameter of it uh, but that's all dug out now um all the way up and then all the way across so um it's about four inches down um, but you can see now, 
I come over the top of this now. Okay, I've got a decent line there for um, the block for when we build it up. So, uh, looking at this now, I need to measure up, but I think that that's potentially three meters wide. Um, you know, without actually getting a tape, let's get a tape measure. Let's get a tape measure. Where where did I put it? If you're like me, is it when you like have a tape measure? Because I don't wear builders pants because I'm not a builder. Um, let's put that on there so it follows me face, me grid. Because I don't wear builders trousers because I am a builder. Um, I tend to put things down and then spend ten minutes looking for them. So let's have a quick look here. Ba -ba -da. Okay then. Yeah, I weren't far off. So you see, doing things on camera for your pleasure. Not that sort of pleasure though. Um, you know, makes makes you actually do everything by one hand, which ain't ideal sometimes. But there you go. I might take that back a little bit more. But don't tell the missus. I'm going to sit. Hits. So. Well that's the line we're working on. So it is. Well you be the judge. Um, thing is we're going off. I can't take it back a little bit more. So we're sort of going off. 2.8. 2 uh, let's have a look how long we are you all like a bit well i don't like a bit of length but i know people that do um coy soldiers one he like he likes the length lee hadfield he loves it in fact right i'm trying to get this on here again doing everything one-handed it's not the best and for some reason my tape measure is broken that's not good marty Right, add a bit of mare then, because I can't do it from one handed. So, um, coming down here. Uh, one eighty-eight. So we are two twenty-six, uh, four twenty-six long. So there you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I can't even remember the measurements now. Um, so I'll, I'll remember them when I look back. Uh, and then I'll do a calculation um, because for those people that don't trust my judgment, I'm 5'10". Um, so I've got to remeasure that, but that's probably moved. But we need to get it to about there. So it's going to be shoulder wise. So I reckon I'm going to be about four and a half foot deep-ish. Um, now, I'm going to leave it there uh, so we can get this video out. Um, so, next video uh, will be, hopefully, all fingers being crossed, um, the start of getting the base put in. So, um, I've got a little bit more to do, so that'll probably be the start of the next video, putting the... Um, putting the tight one in etc uh, but ultimately we will on our way you know so i'm super happy now with that footprint i mean let's see if we can get it in the background but i'm sure that if i hold it there let's bring it round a bit you can see the sort of size of the pond now that is by far a dream pond well it is for me considering um the size of the garden and you know that's not going to be the end of it that is going to be a feature of what will be an absolutely fabulous garden by the time i've finished um so anyway i want to thank everybody for their support so all the subscribers all the kind messages all the people that are chasing up and like looking forward to the next episode um you know who you are uh, i want to give a quick shout out as well to lee adfield um absolute diamond geezer um been really enjoying our conversations of late mate so um yeah and then as soon as that's done 
then we move in with and the garden we then move into the next part of my koi journey so let's not count our chickens for the hatch um but yeah i've got some good stuff lined up with some good people uh, and some good ideas so hopefully fingers crossed um we resonate um to think and develop things a little bit further than what we already have so anyway normal youtube things thank you very much for the um subscribing if you haven't already please 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 support my channel uh, hit that subscribe button um make sure you put that little bell on as well uh, that then alerts you when any of my videos drop um and then like the video um there is a few things in there that i've asked for comments for so if you've got any knowledge or even any questions uh, or even just you know some kind of uh, kind words then please 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 put some comments in the uh in the comments box because it all helps um ladies and gents so anyway i would normally give it an enjoy the koi if you've got koi enjoy them if you haven't look for some on youtube and enjoy them but until next time be safe